Grammar Two for Level Two Students, Chapter Ten: The Passive. Passive forms of the perfect tenses: Future Perfect, Affirmative and Negative Sentence. See the structure. The sentence begins with the subject, and the subject is the object of the active sentence. Then the helping verb will have been for the future perfect tense. The verb transitive is in the past participle form, the preposition by, and finally the object. And the object is the subject of the active sentence. See the example. This is an active sentence in the future perfect, and it is in the negative as a statement. Ali will not have sent an email before he sleeps. In this sentence, Ali will not have sent. If we ask this question, "Sent what?" we find this answer: an email. And an email is the object of this verb "sent." There is another verb in this sentence, "sleeps," but there is no object for this verb. In the passive sentence, the object of the active sentence becomes the subject. An email is the subject here in the passive form. Then, for the future perfect, we have to use "will have been," but since it is negative, we have to use "not" just after "will." Will not have been, and the past participle form of the transitive verb it is sent by the preposition, and the subject and the subject of the active sentence becomes the object in the passive. It is him, or we can also write Ali. The other part of the sentence, I mean, after the conjunction, there is another sentence or a clause. And the verb sleeps. It doesn't have any object. It is an intransitive verb, so we cannot change this part of the sentence into a passive sentence.